<laughs> Do you hear this music? This is my battle music. This is what I play when I'm ready to go to war. So why is this on a love compatibility? <laughs> All right. Everybody, it's not funny. This is not funny, right? We're talking about Scorpio man and Aquarius woman today. It's not funny. It's not. It's not to be taken lightly. <laughs> All right. This has been a highly requested topic. I do read your comments. It's just we're we're getting a lot of comments. And I can't always respond to all of them. But I do read them. I really love you guys positively. I appreciate the collective that we're building here. A lot of cool people. Must be because we got a cool leader, you dig? <laughs> Welcome back to the Scorpio Scriptures Podcast. I'm your host, Master J. This is where we talk about astrology, all things Scorpio related, and the expansion of consciousness. <laughs> shh, 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 chill, chill. So today, we are going to expand on the consciousness of the Scorpio man and the Aquarius woman in love. Woo! Let me give a moment of silence to all the Scorpio men who have been burned by an Aquarius woman. <laughs> me included. And let me give a moment of silence for all the Aquarius women who are extremely confused by the Scorpio men and a third moment of silence for the children of the people who were born from a Scorpio man and Aquarius woman moment of silence (laughs) that was like uh, 2.5 seconds of silence broken by my laughter okay so we got the battle music on this is high we're we're hyping, uh, hyping up hyping up so let's get into this. Scorpio man. By now, we should all know what the Scorpio man is like. I have, I think, almost 100 videos. You can watch another one. To, 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 to know the Scorpio man, all right? Scorpio man is like this, I'm a Scorpio type of guy. He's always thinking deep. He's always reading under the surface. He's always looking at things, and he's, he, he's, the, he's the underworld, right? He's the underworld. He's war. He's that sign that everybody is like, ooh, Scorpio. Except Aquarius. Why? Because Aquarius is the water bearer. Scorpio is the deep, dark ocean of water. Aquarius is the one who puts the water in their little vase and just pours it around. <laughs> And that's kind of, that's kind of what this relationship is like. Has anybody ever said that before? Patent that. I think Jay just invented that. So the Aquarius woman. What's the Aquarius woman? Scorpio man is very deep and intense and focused. Aquarius woman. Have you guys ever watched the anime One Punch Man? Anybody here watch the anime One Punch Man? I'm going to find a picture of this girl and put it here. Aquarius woman. The little girl in One Punch Man with the green hair who like blows things up with her psychic energy. I'm gonna put that picture up here so you guys can see. That is the embodiment of an Aquarius woman. So the Aquarius woman is ruled by Uranus, right? Ruled by the planet Uranus. What is that really? It is like freedom, rebellion, innovation, So, when you take that ruling planet of rebellion and freedom, you know, humanitarian social rights, and then you try to match it up with the planet of control, or or the sign of control, and good luck. Good luck, right? (laughs) I, I say this. Leo and Aquarius are the only two, are the only two signs that can make Scorpio not act like Scorpio in a relationship. Because when Leo and Scorpio get together, the Scorpio doesn't really, like, test his woman as much. Because he sees her, she is the way she is. She's a very strong and upfront woman, so he doesn't really have to test her. The Aquarius and the Scorpio is very different because whatever the Scorpio does, 
it doesn't really bother the Aquarius. You know? So when other people meet Scorpios, they're like, oh my God, look at him. He's so intense and he's so like, Duh. and whoa, man, he's so, his energy is so strong. And oh man, it's like so mysterious, so sexy. Aquarius woman, they're like, whatever. <laughs> you know, they, they don't really take things seriously. Like they, they, they Aquarius women are very interesting because they, they, ha they're not very spiritual, but they are spiritual. Like being around them in itself is a spiritual experience. It's almost like you take the mysticism of a spiritual person, like the dreaminess of a Pisces, and you put that into the physical body and you animate it. And you get the Aquarius woman, who is the element of air. So she is the water bearer. She is the one that gives us, feeds spiritual life to the world, feeds water to the world. So of course, the Scorpio man is not really like intimidating to her or, or his power and his control and his mind games and all that. And his handsome, handsome looks, might I add. They're just kind of like whatever to the Aquarius. Because he's the deepest water that you can get, right? But she's the one that just plays with water all day. So, <laughs> this is a very unorthodox relationship. Because the Scorpios are really thrown for a loop when it comes to Aquarius. Because they find someone that all their games and all the things that people are intimidated by from other people don't intimidate the Aquarius. Actually, the Aquarius and Scorpio... They get along at this aspect. It's where the Scorpio man can just be like, yeah, like, yeah, people, people don't like me or people are intimidated by me. People say I have this creepy stare and, <laughs> and you know, like, and he can talk about all these things that are really deep and important to him. An Aquarius woman's like, oh yeah, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> or she might not even care. And that's what makes this relationship. That's what makes this relationship uh, extremely unorthodox. Can it work? Can it not work? It can work. I would give this. If the Scorpio man is evolved, it can work. So it takes a lot of humbling for a Scorpio man to get with a Aquarius woman. Someone who is not really just like whatever to him. His games. If Scorpio man is evolved... If you want to know if your Scorpio man is evolved or unevolved, you got to get the test. The test is going to explain to you how to identify an unevolved or evolved Scorpio man before you get in a relationship with him. So all my ladies out there, I put in this work to save you the headache of an unevolved Scorpio man. Hit the link in the description or check out the comments somewhere. Go ahead and check that out. Now, <laughs> Aquarius woman, right? This is a woman who lives in her own little thing she's like kind of sassy but at the same time she's like kind of sensitive and then she gets angry at the weirdest things but then she's actually nice and she says these things that are so random that you can't help but wonder where her mind is but it makes sense because she's an air sign, right? She's just kind of like, she's like the wind. The wind can, can blow freely and then the wind can hurt you. And then the wind can break, you know, can freaking blow you away. So the Aquarius woman in herself is a trip. Just overall, these women are a trip. They, they can excel at many things. They can be independent, they can be mothers, they can be they can be a lot of things. I as a Scorpio man, the one sign that interests me the most is Aquarius woman. Because I I always just am so interested in these women. They're usually very pretty. Very, very, very pretty. Talk about pretty. A little sassy. But like cute at the same time. Like, they won't take your shit. But the weirdest things will make them melt. And the weirdest things may go, oh, And you're like, what is this girl? Who is this? What am I talking to? 
And she really is like that overall. That's her personality, right? They're just kind of. But the the cool thing is she stands for certain things. She believes in certain things. And she's usually involved in some politics or some some like school organizations. They're, they're, they're very involved in these things. So when you think of the Scorpio man who is like the energy of Pluto and transformation and taboo and you mix it with this woman who kind of she's she, she just like whatever and she just kind of has this like little sassy side <laughs> what brings these two together what brings these two together because on the paper it seems like they're totally incompatible right it really does it really does and more often than not it really is what brings these two together one is if the scorpio man is evolved enough to understand that a woman he is dealing with because the because the aquarius woman she's not really gonna care that much you know she kind of just does her own thing but two what really brings us together is the love and attraction to each other right these are two very very strong personalities very very different personalities but Aquarius woman if you can get let me tell you something based on uh, perhaps my personal experience fiction or non-fiction if you can get on their soft side which they do have you really get another side of this woman that many people will never see Aquarius woman they have a, a unique way of love and a unique way of falling in love overall they have a unique way of expression in general although strong and diligent and intelligent which they present to the world they do have a romantic side and if there's anybody <clears throat> that can make an Aquarius woman swoon and you know feel hot and feel loved like a little girl it is the Scorpio man because when an Aquarius woman falls in love let me tell you something it is like it is a very 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 cute love it really is when Aquarius woman fall in love everything that she presents to the world there's another side of her that is like that is ditzy and girly and dainty and like you ever hear like girls like giggle and they go like <gasps> that is an Aquarius woman when she falls in love because it's, it's a part of her she she might even be mad that she falls in love she's like what like, what no no not not me him <laughs> that's a that's an aquarius falls in love she's like oh, shit i'm in love <laughs> and then and she'll be mad right she'll, she'll be mad at the fact that she likes someone or she'll be mad at the fact especially that she likes the scorpio man because it's like oh look at this guy he's probably a player he's probably got, got a lot of chicks he's kind of weird he got this aura about him that a lot of girls like. And when she falls with the Scorpio man, she's like, ugh, me too. <sighs> and this this is what makes this relationship really funny. Because she, when she likes the Scorpio man, she'll like him and she'll act a certain way. But she'll almost be mean to him or angry at him. And the Scorpio is like, huh? Like, huh? Scorpio this is the one relationship where Scorpio is just like huh what is this cuz she'll like <laughs> this is a funny relationship man I've seen this and I've experienced this and I watch Aquarius woman and I just study them I, this is a really funny relationship like if you see those couples that argue all the time but are still in love with each other and they actually you think they hate each other and they actually might even say I hate you to each other, but they actually love each other. This is that couple. This is totally that couple. And Aquarius is the only one. 
that could say this to Scorpio. And like, it would just be like, yeah, that's how she is. If a Pisces or if an Aries said, yeah, I hate you, Scorpio. Scorpio would be like, what? You hate me? And then like, I'm leaving you forever. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Aquarius would be like, I, I hate your guts. You suck. You stink. Your breath smells in the morning. Your, 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 your hair is falling out, and you're, 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 you're dumb, and all these things, and you're possessive. You stupid, weird Scorpio man. And Scorpio would be like, that's just the way she is. <laughs> and then he'll, because <laughs> he'll love her so much that. He'll take that from her. This is the one couple. It's the only couple where Scorpio is thrown for a loop. And why? It's because when an Aquarius woman cares about someone and she falls in love with someone, she's actually like more aggressive and she's more protective of them. But you know, the way Aquarius women are, they have this little sassiness to them, this little spiciness to them, you know? They're like, oof, oof. Like, they're not afraid to tell, to tell a, a mother effer off, right? And they're not really afraid. Like, they have this, like, they have this, like, weird, fierce sass to them. And when they fall in love with a man, right, they, they use that sass even more. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the stereotypical, like, Latina chick who's, like, feisty and, and, like, yelling at you. But she's there, like, yelling at you because she loves you. That's an Aquarius one. Are all Latinas, spicy Latinas, are all of them just born on the, on the, what, what is it, like January to February? They're all just born on the day of Aquarius and they all just have Aquarius placements. That's it, for real. So, this is why. And why does Scorpio put up with this? Why does Scorpio put up with this Aquarius woman? Because Aquarius woman, they actually love really hard. And they actually are very devoted lovers. They just express it in a way where they kind of express some hostility when they love someone. And they kind of are very blunt. And they're very, very blunt. And why does Scorpio man like this? Because he loves that side of her when she is in love. Because when Aquarius woman is in love, it's a very devoted and it's very sweet. It's very, very sweet love. Right? It's a, it's a total change of character when she acts like a little girl. But what many people don't know is Scorpio is kind of like pain. And Scorpio is kind of like sassy woman. They're like strong women. They're like sassy women. So actually, in, in, in a masochistic, chaotic way, the Scorpio man, if, if he's evolved enough where he doesn't just take things too personally, and learn to accept her as who she is he, they actually get along really well because they are both very attracted to each other and the Scorpio man is actually despite what people believe is a one sign where he kind of likes he kind of likes a woman arguing with him occasionally or he kind of likes seeing her like a little sassy and a little hot it kind of turns him on a little I'm gonna be honest because he does, he, he likes to see that she has some strength. He doesn't like a little puppy girl that people can just walk over. He likes to see that his woman has this little bite back. And Aquarius woman definitely has that. Now, can this lead to some explosive arguments? Yes. Can this lead to the Scorpio getting annoyed because the Aquarius woman might just say too many things that disrespect him and she's not aware of it? Yes. That is where the work of this relationship needs to be put in. It is that the Aquarius woman needs to understand the man that she's dealing with and what when she crosses the line because she doesn't really know where the line is. And the Scorpio man needs to be able to understand his woman. Because unlike other women, I mean, she's still sensitive. She's still emotional. But she kind of just lives moment to moment to moment. And as a fixed sign, that's a little hard for the Scorpio to really understand. So this is a big learning experience for them. But let me tell you something. Why would they still stick together? The love in, 
and the attraction for these two it is very 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 high because what they like in other people what they like in their partner both of them have it right but both of them have something that annoys the, annoys the other so this can be a tumultuous relationship or a deep learning experience based on how they view it <laughs> but it is it is quite the pairing these two would would, would would be interesting parents to have because they're just so different but that you know that's it for today that, that's it for today